All right, Photoshoppers, I'm going to show you today on how to make your very own saturation and vibrancy masks. And this is my go-to way to adding color to all my images, and I've done it for years and years. Probably for the last eight or nine years, I've used this method. But before we do this, you need to install a special plugin for Photoshop that does not come with Photoshop, but it is made by Adobe. I'm going to put the link to it below. So you can go to the Adobe website and I'm going to show you where to get the plugin and how to install it. Okay, so here we are in the optional plugins for Photoshop CC. It will show you the compatibility of the plugins and the one that we're after is the HSB HSL plugin and it's under the multi-optional plugin that you download. So come here and download which one is appropriate for your operating system. Once you get the file, you're going to need to come in, open it, come into Photoshop CC, your folder, into plugins, and then just copy it here. And you can see there's mine there, the optional multi plugin. So once that's all installed, you'll then come into your filter, other, and you'll see HSB, HSL, and that'll show you that it is installed. Okay, now that's installed, and we've checked it, we can now move on and create our saturation and vibrancy mask. So the first step we do is we duplicate our background layer, or the layer that you're on. Now we come in, filter, other, HSB, HSL. Input mode RGB, row order HSB. Click OK. Now we've got this really funky looking shot, which is exactly what we wanted. Come into our channels. Click on our green. Come in and we want to load our selection. And we'll get the marching ants. And then we want to save that selection or come up as alpha one. Alpha one is exactly the same as the green channel but it's going to be our saturation masks. Now with our saturation mask, we're going to deselect, Command D, because you've still got some selections going on. As you can see, there, there's no change between the two. Click our saturation, drag it down to our new layer. There it is there, Command I. And our saturation mask inverted is now our vibrancy mask. Now if we click on the blue, you can see that the blue is not the same as the vibrancy mask there. So to use these now, we're going to come in, we're going to load our selection. Got the marching ants. Come into our layer, we're going to delete that. We don't need that anymore. There's our selection here. I'm going to come in with an adjustment layer, click Hue Saturation, and there is our mask. Hold down the Alt key, and there it is there. So now, just like any adjustment layer, you can use it, and you can apply it a strong or whatever different little color channel things that you got going here. And because it's got a mask, you can refine the mask if you want to paint on it. If you find that you apply it quite strong and you want to paint it out of certain areas, like it's gone, I like the water, but it's not, not too good through the sand here. Click on the mask. Leave your brush tool. Bracket down. Change opacity 50%. And you can just paint it out as you see fit. 99% of the times, I will only use the vibrancy mask, the saturation mask. I never really found much of an application for it. You can use it to, obviously, because it's the opposite, you can use it to recover high, um, high key color, but I've never really found much of an application for it. Just the vibrancy mask is all I'm really much after, and it'll, I'm pretty sure you'll find it. It'll be the, what you'll use 90% of the time. When it comes to adding color to your images and it's pretty much it's that easy 
So the other thing from here would be to create it as an action. So you don't have to go through that whole process. You can just do one click, put it all together, and then you've got your Vibram Sumar sitting on top, and then you can continue editing. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Um, I know for me that, as I've said before, I use it all the time. It's a fantastic way to add color to your image by determining what areas need more saturation where others don't. You can already tell in your shot areas like down here, which would be much brighter. If you look at the mask, you can already see that it's much more heavily masked than, say, the water. And when you apply this effect, you're going to get much more saturation added to the water than you are to the blue. So, guys, I hope that's been handy. It's a good thing to have in your bag of tricks when you do edit. You're going to use it a lot as you go through and edit your own work. If you got in, want to know any more information, pop a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a like if it was helpful. Head to rubbingpixels.com to find out more information to learn how to shoot, edit, and sell your photography like a pro.